So the architect wanted the western sun to come into the church on the west side and give, have some depth. And so consequently, that's the reason for the, the thickness of this, of this wall, one of the reasons for that. So the two windows on the top there are the heart of, Sacred Heart of Jesus and Immaculate Heart of Mary. So I had to change the pattern from 40 pieces of glass on each window down to like about seven or eight pieces of glass. So they went from very complex to very simple, but they still have their symbolism, but all the excess stuff had to be taken out. Now the bottom window represents the fishes and nets, Jesus capturing all of us, we're all the fish and the nets and it's by the floor because it would be underwater. This the group of windows is sacramental slash Marian windows. So the first window would represent matrimony with the interlocking rings. Crescent moon is a, is a symbol of Mary. Below that is the lily. And then beside that would be the um, Florida Lee, which is our archdiocese um, symbol of Mary. And above that will be the is a crown over the world it represents the kingdom of God. And above it is a dove with its wings pretty much open. And that's for confirmation. Okay, the next two windows, the bottom one is the hands of Mary holding baby Jesus. And on the bed that he's on, the same pattern as the wheat that's on the tabernacle from the manger. The halo around the baby Jesus had the blue circle represents God in no beginning, no ending. Above it would be the Star of David. But your next four windows are um, basically Jesus rising over sin. So the apple represents the Garden of Eden and the original sin, and the Eucharist above it with the wheat pattern as, as the tabernacle. And then beside the, the apple would be the snake in the garden, uh, the tempor, and above it would be Jesus' cross rising above it. So basically the cross and the Eucharist are beside each other.